the impossibility of the situation seemed incomprehensible. This can't be happening. This is not real. I can't believe it. Is this a miracle? As I looked at my laptop that day, I knew in that moment that dreams do come true. Good evening, my dear Toastmasters and fellow dreamers. It all started, or rather restarted, on 20th July 2019. I had come back to Bangalore after eight long months with a heart wrenching breakup. The self esteem was torn to shreds, and my confidence was buried deep underground. I thought my savings were in shambles, but what was really in shambles was my mental state. And I knew that I need to do something to make myself feel alive again. So I borrowed money from my first Toastmasters mentor, Naveen, and joined HSR Toastmasters Club. I really wanted Kavita, who was full of life and could not stop talking. But the Kavita I got ran away from the meetings before anyone could even utter a word. I badly wanted to get out of this situation. One day, I received a call from Rakesh, who was associate VP membership during that time. Instead of speculating why I was being weird, he actually made that effort to call. And things became less scary afterwards. The day I realized that my fellow club members were not monsters who will eat me alive was when I went with them for dinner after an area contest which happened in January 2020. And then it all started. The roller coaster ride of two and a half years with me pursuing presentation mastery path. I delivered and explored different facets of speaking, whether it was delivering a keynote speech on how to love better or moderating a panel discussion where I scouted panelists for around one and a half months <coughs> or handling disruptions effectively during a speech or bringing pizza into the meeting to explain all of you what are different communication styles. I ranted, I rapped, I mined, I meditated, I danced, I drank, I even dressed up like a samosa. My imagination has been my only limit. And I love it. Yet a major challenge which I faced during that time was bonding deeply with people. I was not good at interpersonal communication. <clears throat> So I decided to take a plunge. I contested and, non uh, and became the vice president membership of the club. Serving as vice president membership gave me faith in my ability to lead. And I discovered that connection which I had been seeking for so long. Yet, being the president of the club was never in my bucket list until I got a call from my mentor, Akshay. I never thought I would be the president. But when I was elected, I realized that you all had faith in me. You all trust me. I knew in that moment that with great power came great responsibilities. Standing here today, three months in, I really understand what that means. This club is my family and I am responsible for nurturing its members. I still remember my international speech contest back in 2020. I had put in a lot of effort, but I failed to win. 
So I went ballistic. I hated and cursed the judges, the contestants, everyone who was involved <laughs> and everyone who was not involved. Until I had samosa at show. Fast forward to International Speech Contest in 2022. Five days before the speech, my mentor told me that, Kavita, your speech is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I felt like backing up during that time. So I shared this incident with my friend Ayush, whom I had snapped multiple times in the past, and he tried to give me feedback. But this time, when he offered to help, I took a leap of faith and said yes to him. After 30 hours of intense feedback absorbing sessions, I delivered one of the best speeches to date. Let's face it, I was an overconfident brat who hated taking feedback. It was not the judges in 2020, but it was me who didn't let me win. This realization struck me like a tsunami. And it washed away all the barriers which I had erected over the years. The following week, I listened to every input which I had provided. I switched perspectives, I explored stories, I learned how to use props, and I practiced like crazy. And on that fateful Saturday, a miracle happened. I won first place in Table Topics Contest. The confidence which was buried deep underground was now on cloud nine. Wading through this path, I have got many breakthroughs in different aspects of my life. Uh, recently, I got a promotion within six months of joining the organization. And the topmost comment which my manager wrote was, Kavita possesses great interpersonal skills and has an innate talent to bring together people to achieve a shared vision. Little did he know that there is nothing innate about this talent. It was acquired through hard work, put in every single During this two and a half year journey, situations changed, people changed, life happened. But one thing which remained constant was Toastmasters. Toastmasters gave me wings of passion. It taught me what fire inside heart feels like. I have learned how to say yes to feedback, yes to opportunities, yes to ideas, yes to taking risks and yes to celebrating my mistakes. I still remember my first speech at HSR. With sweaty palms and constipated smile, I badly wanted to get off the stage. And as I stand here in front of you now, I would love to go on forever with a smile radiant enough to douse a thousand suns. Looking back, I think I've come a long way. Being a person who escaped the world to being a person who is embracing it with open arms. And going forward, I want to convert my passion into my career. I want to become a professional public speaker and inspire people to turn their dreams into reality. But I have seen that they do come true. I would like to leave you all with a few lines. Left without looking and tumbled into the river. The water was freezing. She spent a month 
sneezing, but said she would do it again. Here's to the ones who dream, foolish as they may seem. Here's to the hearts that ache. Here's to the mess we make. She told me a bit of madness is key to bring to give us the colors we see. Who knows where it will lead us? And that's why. So bring on the rebels, the rebels from pebbles, the painters, the poets, and plays. Here's to the fools who dream. Crazy as they may seem. Here's to the hearts that break. And here's to the mess we made.